Hello and welcome to Kia e Nero Diaries. It's Friday the 24th. Hang on a minute. Let's just... Hi, as uh, I've just said uh, from behind the mask, uh, welcome to uh, Kia e Nero Diaries. It's, so, uh, yeah, it's the 24th of uh, April, it's Friday, and I'm at Lidl, uh, an, a supermarket that opened in a place called Rufek, uh, which is 16 kilometres from where we live. Um, and and it's just behind me. It's got a south-facing roof covered in solar panels. And it's got this... Um, I'm sat in the back seat because the sun is so strong. <laughs> uh, in the back seat, there's a bit more shade. So there's a couple of uh, 7.2 kilowatt charging points. Over the last, in the last uh, few weeks, over the last few weeks, we've uh, got most of our power from here because in fact um, with the lockdown uh, we're not obviously doing so much driving and uh, just topping up here for 20 minutes while we do some shopping is proved to be enough. So I uh, just want to talk today about my observations on uh, ambient temperature and its effect on the efficiency of the car. Um, so this journey is um, it's 30, 32 kilometer round trip. Uh, it's something we do quite regularly, winter, summer. And uh, at the start of the lockdown, um, about a month ago, I was observing that um, on this trip, we were typically getting about 13 and a half to 14 kilowatt hours per 100 kilometers. And the temperature then was, um, the air temperature, it wasn't cold, it was about 14 to 15. Uh, but the last couple of trips I've made, including this one, um, where the temperature's 22, 23, uh, we're seeing, you know, 10 and a half kilowatt hours per 100 kilometres. I'll, I'll put the um, the numbers there, yeah, there, in, uh, in old money um, for people who find that easier. Um, so, yeah, it's just quite interesting how that sort of four or five degrees um increase in um celsius in in ambient temperature seems to make everything work that bit more efficiency now i mean it's a route we've done so, you know, hundreds of times i don't drive any differently the first six and a half kilometers is on single track country roads and then it turns on to a, a fast empty uh but very good um country road so we're doing about 80 kilometers, 85 kilometers an hour um, on those roads. So obviously on the motorway, uh, you know, faster roads, it wouldn't be so efficient, but it does seem to make quite a difference. Uh, so anyway, just a quick observation during the lockdown, not overly busy really. Um, I don't know if you can hear any banging noises in the background, like sort of gun going off. There, it's uh, bird scarers because uh, it's planting season and um, those things are sort of uh, popping off uh, from time to time. Um, yeah, and uh, for anyone who hasn't seen my uh, review of the full year ownership of the car, um, that's also here on the Kitty Nero Diaries uh, YouTube channel. And also, uh, I would recommend a guy called Andrew Till. He's he does an excellent website where he is a YouTube website where he has um, he's been documenting his experience of owning the car. Um, he's about a month behind me in Enero ownership, uh, but I suspect he's done more kilometres. He's got a proper job and he travels and he's got a family and stuff. Whereas I'm just a retired chap. Anyway, thank you for watching. Thank you for subscribing, those people who have been. Uh, stay safe, stay well, stay in still, unfortunately. Bye.